buy vanilla wave. I might buy some real estate. I might buy canary taxi, yellow diamond glitter flake. Yeah. Oh, boys, making a noise. Tell me a story. I feel the same. Oh, boys, making a noise. You gave me D. I'm on the mission, mission. I'm on the mission, mission. I'm on the mission, mission. I please don't try my teeth. Cause you may come up missing. Cause you may come up missing. Cause you may come up missing. And when I talk, they listen. I got that vision, vision. I got that mission, vision. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, welcome. How are you? Thank you so much for stopping to click and watch this video. If you are returning Sugar Cube, that is what I call my subscribers because I have the best and sweetest subscribers. Ever. Welcome back and I love to welcome all of my deaf and non-verbal viewers. What's up guys? This is actually a makeup look. I will insert a picture, the inspired picture right here. It's from Jaden Smith's new album cover. He came out last week with the album Iris and it is a whole banger. Like he has Trina Jed. Trina Jed. Trinidad James up there. He has Tyler the Creator. I like Tyler the Creator almost, almost as much as Childish Gambino. Like, Childish Gambino will always be my intro. <laughs> I love Childish Gambino, but I like Tyler the Creator and I like Jaden Smith's music. I really like the album and I was very, very, very much so inspired to create this eyeshadow look. I didn't know how it was going to turn out first. And if you guys didn't notice, your girl's hair is purple. Her hair is purple and she did that on purpose specifically because I know I wanted to film this video. So if you want to see how I achieved this look inspired by Iris album cover, Iris being the album of Jaden Smith, stay tuned. Hey guys, so hopping straight into the video, I did my eyebrows already off camera. They are purple because my hair is purple. So I'm going to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow with the e.l.f. 24 hour camo concealer and this is in the color tan walnut. This was sent to me through influencer and it is just a tad bit too light for me to use as my regular concealer. Usually I like to go in with one more layer. I really like this as an eyeshadow base. I'm actually going to set right underneath my brow bone with the Fenty Beauty Invisi Matte Universal Matte Blotting Powder and I'm going to be taking a Sigma E25 to do so. The main eyeshadow palette I will be using will be this Cara Beauty one and it is a bright matte eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be going in with some colors from here. So the very first color I'm going to go in with, I think will probably be this light pink one. Then we'll dabble into a couple of these berry shades. We kind of have that diffused. Now I'm going to go into this yellow shade right up here. And I'm going to pack that right on top of the pink. Just very faintly like that because I only want a little bit of the yellow to peek through. Now going in with the same brush, we're going to dip into some of these berry shades. I'm going to take that hot pink right there and pack that in my crease also. Now going in with the Sigma E40 blending brush, it's just like your traditional blending brush. I'm going to go in with this purple shade directly underneath it just to buff out the edges. I'm going to go back into that yellow shade and I'm going to use a wet n wild eyeshadow brush just almost 99 cents I'm gonna pack the yellow on okay 
Okay, so now we need a buffer between the yellow and the pink. And for that, I'm going to use a little bit of this orange because it is vibrant. I only want to use a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with that same Sigma, Sigma E25 with the hot pink engine, whatever is left on the brush. I'm going to buff that very lightly into my crease to make everything marry together. Now I'm gonna take a clean blending brush. La la. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush. This is an old one I have by Ruby Kisses, and it has no product on it. And I'm just going to buff that all over so there are no harsh lines whatsoever. Now I'm going to take another Ruby Kisses brush. This is their small eyeshadow brush. I've had these brushes for a minute, so they're good for packing, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to go in with this deep royal purple right here and pack that tighter in my crease. Going back to the Sigma E25 that has the hot pink with no added product, I'm going to pack on top of it. Again, going in with that clean, well it's now a little stained eyeshadow brush from Ruby Kisses, I'm going to blend everything. Going back once more with that same purple and that same brush, I'm going to pack one more time. Now going in with a very teeny, teeny, teeny eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take that deep purple right there, mix it in with the same eyeshadow I used to do my brows, and deepen the crease a little more. Take that same packing brush and then just pack that in. Pink brush. And then finally, the brush that has the yellow and the orange. What I want to do now is cut my crease a little bit, so I'm going to use that same e.l.f. concealer we used as a base, but I'm going to mix in a little bit of liquid lipstick because I want a more pastel base. So I'm going to take a little bit of the liquid lipstick, which is a, I want to say a magenta color. Take some of the e.l.f. concealer. not the color I want. <laughs> so I'm going to take another liquid lipstick, a more purple one. There we go. So now I'm just going to actually cut my crease. Now I'm going to take my Cosette Infinite Eyeshadow in the color Prince, which is this purple right here, this really pretty purple. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on the inner and outer corners. Now I'm gonna take my Luxie Precious Metal Eyeshadow in Spyro. I absolutely love this color because it's named after one of my favorite video games. And I'm gonna pack that right next to the purple, still leaving the center blank. What I'm going to do now before I put my main lip color on, I'm going to go back into that deep purple, mix in with the eyeshadow that I did my eyebrows with, and deepen up my crease just a tad more. Just because I feel like we lost a little bit of the pink, I'm going to go back in with the hot pink on my same little brush and buff in like right here. Now, in the very, very, very center where there is a gap, I'm going to take my Cosette Infinite Eyeshadow in Mica. Now, the cool thing about this eyeshadow is that it just adds a shimmer to whatever's underneath it. So I'm actually going to go on my pinky and pat it on. See how pretty that is? Going back in with the brush that has the prints and the spiral on it, I'm going to blend around the edges. So this color is mainly just concentrated in the middle of my eye. 
and then taking my little brush that has the purple on it I'm going to be working with some Suba Beauty liners. I have the color Space Panda, which is the white one, uh, Scrunchy, which is the hot pink one, and Aztec, which is this purple one. So I'm going to mix the white and the purple to make a lavender. I'm actually going to do the lavender on the inner corner, the deeper purple on the outer corner, and then hopefully I will use this hot pink one, because it's blending into my background, directly underneath here. I'm going to do that off camera as well as apply lashes. I'm going to be applying these AOA Studio 3D Faux Mink Lashes in the Style Jackie. It is the lashes that I wore in the last video and I will come back to show you what we do with the rest of the face. <laughs> so this is what I end up doing for the eyeliner. I like it a lot. Not what I initially planned on but I have to bronze. I absolutely have to bronze looking nice and flat so I'm going to be going in with my Black Radiance Press powder in bronze glow. I love this to bronze. I promise I do not look this washed out in person. So I'm actually going to take that same powder and I'm going to take this little brush. I got it in an Amazon brush set a while ago and bring some shape back to my nose. We're not going to leave it like this. This is very stark. So I'm going to take a powder that is close to my complexion. This is my Ruby Kisses No More Blemishes powder in golden. I still use this. If you're an OG subscriber, then you know. For blush, I'm not going to do anything crazy because I feel like there's enough going on with the eyes. I'm going to be using this blush right here. It is from my Cosette blush palette. I love this palette. I have one in my kit as well. And even though it looks very dark in the pan, it is actually a very nice, I would say neutral blush. Now, I'm going to use a blush topper. This is actually a Lumi, a Lumi blush from AOA Studio. The cover rubbed off and it's called Wine. I feel like these are too luminous to be a blush by itself. However, they look great between the blush and your highlighter. So I'm going to use again the color wine, put that a little bit higher than my blush. Comment down below if this happens to anyone else, like my eye will start to randomly tear up like in the corners, I don't know if that happens to anyone else. Um, I need that to not happen because these liners that I have on are water activated. <laughs> Super Beauty liners are water activated. So what I'm actually going to do first is align my waterline with the black slide on glide on gel pencil by LA girl lining my waterline because I have to do one eye make sure it doesn't tear up and then move on to the other one so while that eye is doing its own thing I am going to go in with another LA girl eyeliner and this one is in the color it's the blue one and I think it is called royal blue and I'm going to put this right under the black and to smoke it out I'm going to be using this purple from that same Cara Beauty palette and fun fact I feel like I don't have a lower lash line so this is an I Kate House brush it came come on focus it came in a set of oval brushes and I love it for this purpose because I feel like I don't have a lower lash line and then go right back into my face powder which is the Ruby Kisses No More Blemish Powder in Golden and buff underneath it. This is a really neat trick to soften your lower lash line. Okay, so we have our blush, we have everything on except highlighter. So there's a couple highlighters I wanna actually dive into. The first highlighter is from my Black Radiance True Complexion 3D Highlighter Palette. It is first class, it is a very pretty purple. I'm gonna use that and if you see me looking in the viewfinder I want to make sure everything is coming up true to color on my camera and I'm gonna go in with my favorite highlighting brush of all time it is the AOA studio f19 brush you can actually find this brush in a set and the set is um, the poor poor charity 10 piece brush set this is so purple I love it and mind you, I have to go to work so after this, so we're going to be going to work nice 
and purple. Now, I do not put colored highlighter on the center of my face, so I will go in with my trusty Anastasia Glow Kit in that glow, and I use the color Golden Bronze to bronze my forehead, and I use a little bit of Golden Bronze and Bubbly mixed to highlight my nose. And something I'm super, super, super excited to try is this Kevin O'Quan Highlighting Neo Light. No, Neo Limelight Highlighting Powder, and it's in the color Isba. Ibiza, sorry. And look how pretty this palette is. I am probably going to run my brush across all of them and then see what color we get. Oh, that's so pretty. Now because I have so much going on on my eyes, I feel I am going to first line my lips with the MAC Cork Lip Liner. And don't worry if it's not clean, I'm going to show you a trick. Now I'm going to take that same powder, that Ruby Kisses powder, and I'm going to take a little flat brush and I'm actually going to clean up my lip line because on others I can line lips perfectly but on myself it's like ugh. Now for lipstick I'm going to be using this Koki Kissable Liquid Lipstick and it's in the color Nirvana. It's a nice neutral but it's more so mauve neutral. Oh she mad. And to top it all off I'm going to be using my AOA Diamond Lip Gloss like throwback to these. I remember when they first first came out, I bought one and then I placed order and bought all of them. So this one is in the color Pixie. Pixie is actually, it looks white, but when you put it on, it has like, come on focus, pink reflex. See that? This is the finished look guys. I don't know if my hair is picking up purple on camera because she is definitely purple I did my hair purple specifically for this look so make sure to comment down below if you think I did a good job with this look I mean I think I did especially with the liquid liners I am a gel liner type of girl so if you know me you know I like gel liner I think I did a pretty good job definitely comment down below what your favorite song off of iris is because mine are definitely noise okay okay you're gonna put jada smith and tyler the creator on a track of course i'm going to love it so definitely noise k and i like mission and believe it or not i like i like riot and i like um do 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 the fire engine one <laughs> i'll put the name of it here honestly i don't dislike any song off of the whole album and that's rare so comment down below what your favorite song on jayden smith's new album iris is comment down below which eye is your good eye because even right now my left eye is tearing and it's just like bruh let me be great make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any uploads from me this was definitely fun um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and i'll see you in my next video stay blessed